All in? Mike in? Yeah, yeah. Mike in? Yeah, number seven. Mike in. This is number 77. Yeah. 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 77. Yeah. 77. Do you know where we are? Uh, we're in Little Man Coffee. We're in Little Man Coffee. Man Coffee. Yeah. We're yeah. just doing, doing a quiz. Yeah. Doing a quiz podcast. Yeah. A quiz podcast. Yeah. A quiz podcast. Yeah. And a live podcast. And a podcast. Yeah. Little Man Coffee. From Little Man Coffee. Yeah. Why we're doing this? We're doing this for the wallet. Raising money for the wallet. The wallet is the homeless chat in Wales. Does that have a lot of work? Great, work. great. great. Everything's amazing. amazing charity. So we've, got, we've sold out. We've sold out. We've coffee. sold out. Number coffee for the first this time to do this. And it was massive queues around the block as well. Nothing to do with George Ayer yeah. playing. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to do with that. Yeah. 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 Right. So, we, uh, to say a uh, thank you to our sponsors, Fresh Water Wales, and uh, also for our hosts, uh, Little Man Coffee, and all the money is going to the wallet. So yeah. 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 Right then folks, um Give them the mic. Right then folks, um this is the first round proper of the quiz. As I said, round one is the picture round, so carry on deliberating, no cheating, no phones uh, for the first round. So the, 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 the second round is called Total Football. You'll see on your answer sheets that there are eleven answers. And uh, they all relate to, all the answers relate to players that play in positions on the pitch. We've gone for a standard 4 4 2 formation, uh, which is Mike Bassett's favourite. And um, <laughs> as you can see, so basically, answer number one will be uh, a question, the, uh, the answer will be a goalkeeper, answer two will be a right back, answer three a left back, and so on. You kind of get the deal. Um, but there is one other thing. Um, you'll see that kind of uh, there's a little break in the answer sheet. So the first letter of the first name of that player, all of those will spell out a football team down the left hand side. So you won't get a point for getting that football team, but what it will do is give you a clue to the answer to the other question. So if you don't know it, if you suddenly get a football team down the left hand side, then you're in business and you can maybe have a guess. That makes sense? Yep. Perfect, I didn't even have to repeat that, that was amazing. Uh, okay, cool, all right, question one. This is your goalkeeper if you're paying attention. In 2006, Petr Cech was substituted off the pitch with a head injury. He was replaced by this goalkeeper, who was later substituted himself with a head injury. I'll, I'll repeat that, I'll repeat that. In 2006, Petr Cech was substituted off the pitch with a head injury. He was replaced by this goalkeeper, who was later himself substituted with a head injury. 2006. I'll repeat any at the end of the round as well that you want repeating. Should we go for VAR? Yeah, VAR. Ready? Get the mic on me. Okay, we're going to be talking a little bit. No, we do. Oh, okay. We're just going to talk. Okay. Right, this, this section here, we're going to be discussing what we're discussing. A bit of VAR. VAR, like. VAR is huge. I don't, you, I don't know if you know it's, it's quite big in the game. It's massive. It's huge. Yeah, it's what are your thoughts? What are, you, are, you, are we all happy with VAR? Right. I've got some views on it. But, you know, oh, i got some views. You know, right, the thing is, I'm happy. My biggest thing is I'm happy with VAR as a system and as a, the new technology that it is. What I'm not happy with is how the human element uses that technology. Yeah. I think everyone is putting these things down to errors. As we've said before, VAR, all it is, is a replay of something that happened. You just yeah, it's, it. like, it's, like, so it's not VAR getting these decisions no. wrong. No. These issues. What it is, is the human interpretation. And the what thing is, right, you've got, you've got people that say, right, okay, I don't like, I, you know, yeah, VAR's wrong. It's not wrong. It's like, it's like looking at CCTV footage and saying, you know, they've got it wrong. You know, it's, it's playing back what's said. It's not like you've got a bank robbery yeah. and say, oh my God, you know, that's, that's not happened. That's not happened. And the, the other thing that's weird is, is still, if, if when they said, oh, VAR got the decision wrong, to, basically, it, it's, you know, people are just looking at what, you know, replay of what's happened. It's still human interpretation, as you said. And the other thing is, it's not, the other thing they say, which which really cracks me up, is they say, oh, um, they've, they've looked at it, it's a, it's, a, it's a human error of the technology. It's not, it's a human interpretational error of the law. So if you look at the, ha if you look at the handball, or you look at the, um, or look at an offside, like the, the Harry Kane. I know, I know, I know. It's like, 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> the technology's not wrong, it's the human Calm interpretation down, of the law, yeah. isn't it? Look how weird I know, I'm going to get worked up about it. But it's like, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this when it's brought into the Premier League next year. It is act, an actual game changer. Yeah. Yeah. In order for the setup of how we've discussed Shithousery. Yeah. And Shithousery is going to be right uh, because they're going to get punished for it. I didn't, I said to uh, introduce it. It's a Scottish word. It's a Scottish word. It's an it's old like, wooden um, shit. Yeah. 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 But on the whole, when that shit does come in, it will just be down to the like, human error. How, how significant it's going to pick up things, you know, because you could get like, the intricacies of the game. It's just too, too, too much to take. Like, when you have a yeah, yeah, decision over, like, a corner or anything, yeah, 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 yeah. not substantial, yeah. it's like, I think there's going to be some fun there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, there'll be, there'll, I think it'll make it a bit more exciting. The, the fact is, I mean, the Premier League is going to be so far behind because they're going to move widely through Europe. So Europe had the edge of it. Yeah, why was it after all? Just like the Euro. I don't know why it didn't just go on. My issue with the AI at the moment, I think it's just that it's not being used in the Because, like I said, we can be talking that an FA Cup is not going to be able to because they didn't have the AR. Because if it was the AR, what should it be this Yeah, yeah. All right. Next round of the quiz. Thanks for those contributions. Um, uh, so this is round six. It's the uh, ramble round. It's still called the ramble round. We were okay with that one. Contractually, we were all right. We're not going to get sued for that, are we? No, no, so, anyway. no, no. Don't say the word. All right. Where's the, where's the quiz? Where's the quiz? Ah, here we go. Ramble All right. round. <laughs> it's a ramble round. There's no, bonus ramble. points for off on this one. Um, which current championship manager scared off three burglars by putting his finger in the pin of a live hand grenade and threatened to pull it out? <laughs> which current championship manager scared off three burglars by putting his finger in the pin of a live hand grenade and threatened to pull it out? It's quite specific. It's very specific. That's my question as well. I like that one. It's good, isn't <laughs> what are we doing after this? Finish show after this when you talk with the mic, don't have it too close to this feedback. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do in the future after this. Uh, yeah, and then we'll do the wrap. Uh, question two. Question two. Uh, how many managers have won the Premier League? Uh, that's how many managers have won the Premier League, and we're looking for different managers. So if they've won it more than once, that doesn't count as more than one. That makes sense? So look for how many different managers have won the Premier League. Um, we've got a break when we're doing the ad episode as well, and the raffle. Yeah. We, could have a, we could have a bit of a break, actually. Okay. Then we come back to the raffle. I, yeah. I can do the raffle, actually. Um, um, okay, question three. We still got to do question three, and there's a bonus point in this one. So question three is, what is the first name of Mr. Bosman, who took a team to court for restraint of trade, won and thereby changed the nature of football transfers forever? So what is the first name of Mr. Bosman, who took a team to court for restraint of trade, won and thereby changed the nature of football transfers forever? And for a bonus point, name either side whom he moved from or to. You don't need to get both, but... Right, do you want to, should we, um, should we start recording the, the next one? Money, we're doing now. Money, yeah, go on. We're going to talk money in football. Money in the game. Yeah? Money in the game. That's what we're There's a lot of money in the game. There is quite a bit of money in the game. Uh, specifically, the There's a lot of money being raised, sorry, can I say, in this room for the wallet. Do you like that little segue then? I like I that. And what, 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 what are the wallets They are a uh, homeless charity um, uh, in Cardiff, well, based in Cardiff, but across Wales. Uh, and um, yeah, they, they do great things. Uh, homeless is increasing across Wales and all their work is going to support people, um, keep fighting services open um, to help people not only who seek rest but also fund homelessness, prevention, hospitals, yeah. housing support, mm. learning development initiatives, so lots of great stuff. So yeah, really good. Lots of money in football but lots of money being raised. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's um, can I throw out the most annoying, yeah. the most annoying part when people talk money? What's your issue? Like, What's your issue? Going? With money in the game? It's What's your issue? It's insane to know why the footballers get paid that much money. Doctors, 
is dumped. Yeah. Or into. I think I know the answer. I think I know What's the answer. answer? The answer is that they, it's the going rate. You know, people want to buy things, they want to buy tickets, they want to buy shares. It's the going rate. It's, it's what is supply and demand. Football's massive. It's the biggest world, biggest, biggest sport. Do you say that football is now business? Is that what you're saying? There's no room for hardcore fans in football. Is that what you're saying? It's all business. I wasn't, but I am now. Um, when the problem that comes with this thing is you get a lot of players then who are paid a lot of money and someone goes, oh, why are they worth that much? Neymar, PSG, for example. Yeah. You imagine the amount of merch. I know shirt sales are now a remedy when it comes to football, football signing the clubs. Yeah. The way the deals are structured, you know. Um, but <laughs> Neymar sold so much merch to PSG and elevated their stature. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's brought in so much more money. That's what people get. They go, either paying him, you know, like what is it, like a million pound a week or whatever. And they're like, how is he spending that? Why does he deserve that much money? Because he's making more than a million pound a week for his club. <laughs> it's like any other business. If you're a salesman and you make more sales than the guy next to you, you'll get paid more money than you. Yeah. I know. It's, it's, uh, I mean, the, 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 the issue I have with, with money in the game is it's not about... Um, the fact there's a lot of it in there, I do think footballers do get paid a ridiculous amount of money. It's more about how it's used. So if you're going to have a lot of money in, the, in football, which is a fact of life, then it's all about how you use it. It's you know, distributed properly. Make sure it goes back into grassroots. It's not going to agents all the time. It never goes into grassroots. It, it never, never does. So make sure that agents aren't taking a massive cut of things. So just make sure that there's that you put you recycle that money and put it back into the same amount of places. Otherwise, it's you know we're gonna. We're not. We're not going to tap into. We're not going to keep it. Um, you know, keep, keep investing in the future of the game. Uh, and it's just going to line the pockets of the same people who are always rich. Right? But, then, but then we've got that issue. Uh, say we've got a player like Aaron Ramsey who is going to. Yeah. He's got a fantastic deal. Uh, yeah. He's honoured his contract. He's avoided. Uh, Favorite. It's a very interesting deal, though, because it's also fantastic it's for favorite. Juventus. It might be my favourite deal. It's a great deal for Juventus. Of recent well. times. Yeah, it's a brilliant deal because the, it's, I'm glad you brought it up because I never bore talking about how good of a deal Juventus got. Juventus got. Juventus got a player for a combined 35 million, roughly. Could you buy a player of Aaron Ramsey's quality, pay his agent fees, pay his wages for five years yeah. for 35 million? No. <laughs> Leeds cost him, the player alone would cost you 40 million, yeah. and then the agent fees and everything else would be on top. They save it, themselves a bundle. It also goes further. And he gets paid a fortune. It works for everyone. It, it's also the issue of, okay, find me another Ronaldo. Your regen idea. And, no, it's true. No, that's later on the regen. The regen the DNA of, of, of Ronaldo. Storing that safe. Just keep going back. Just uh, going back. Saying that. I can't wait. Madrid, that. Is that the T2000? The T2000 from, or 1000 from Terminator? Yeah. yeah. Regen. Yeah. He's been liquefied and now he's going back into full like form. He's like feet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to end this section before we I keep talking about anyway. Ronaldo. But Mitch, sum this section up for us, please. T2000. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're all wet, it's all right. Um, we I have we've never... probably got time to play with another one of your games at some point, but we'll just see how it's yeah. going. Um, I'm going to have a fag. And then we'll do one more before we go into... Oh, no, we've got... We're doing gambling next, aren't we? We might as well do gambling after we, your fag. What if we do another... Uh, another um, game here? And then we'll Can I have a fag and then I'll do another game? One of them. Yeah. Go get yourself a This fag. is why I bought half time in my cigarette. Say half-time. Oh, we're doing just half time in the beer. I think we're doing okay. Sorry, I'll move away there. Where's the time? Oh, here it is. Um, well, we are. Um, yeah, we're we're okay. We're about on. We're, we're a little bit ahead. We're way ahead. We're, we're way ahead. Go get a cigarette. Go get a cigarette. See, I knew we needed some mic. We needed to some mic. Yeah, you were right, Mitchell. while we're doing the podcast and uh, we've had some really good feedback today from people some of them are in the room as well um, Jordan Lloyd said hope this is your first and last live event oh thanks very much for that. <laughs> um, nice. Steve, Steve Bold said Wenger in okay um, Adam, Adam Hewling Adam Hewling says this quiz was as glorious as the United's travel in 99 thank you Adam 
Thank you very much. That's yeah. nice. Um, Shola Amiobi said, really enjoyed the live uh, show, but if it means sacrificing VVD verses as a feature yeah. in favour of a quiz, then it's not for me. Um, Can't win them all. Stenu, Stenu Grom at the back, she said, there were no women in the picture around quiz, you sexist bastards. What? And, um, <laughs> and Dermot Gallagher said, what the hell was that? So I've just got this package from a touchline ran from the quiz they did. Let's have a look what they've got. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's probably seven in a box, isn't it? Yeah, probably, yeah. For, oh, what? Charity quiz? Yeah, I'll have a bit of that. Oh, this is good, isn't it? I don't know. I'm going to kick a football because I'm Harry King.